Hey, Cody Rawl here from New Mavericks, coming to you from Miami, Florida. It's been a long winter. I'm getting rid of a lot of stress being in the sun, enjoying the present moment. And that's what I wanted to talk about today, enjoying that present moment. So what if I told you that there was a way to uh, get outside of your head, to enjoy the moment, to generate endogenous happiness, and even make yourself more attractive to people in general, as well as the opposite sex? Well, if you think that sounds too good to be true, then I encourage you to stick around for my talk about the default mode network. So today I'm going to talk about the default mode network and what that is, my goal in talking about that is explaining a neuroscience concept that will get you to conceptualize what it is to be in the moment and generate this endogenous happiness. So our story takes us all the way back to 1928. There was this guy named Hans Berger. He was a researcher and he was actually the guy who developed the electroencephalography machine. And if we recall, the electroencephalography machine is when you put leads on your head, on your scalp, and measure the electrical activity of your brain. So what Hans Berger realized is that the brain has endogenous electrical activity despite not undergoing active mental tasks like calculation, um, generating directions, and naming, for, for instance. So much later in the early 2000s with functional MRI, when you were able to actually measure the metabolic activity of the brain, what researchers found was that the brain actually only increases its metabolism by about 5% despite not undergoing any active mental tasks. Now, what this told people was that the brain is doing something when it's not even actively undergoing these mental tasks. So there was this researcher down at the University of Washington in St. Louis who put people in fMRI scanners just to see what was going on with their brain activity before they had them go through calculation or naming or what have you. And what they noticed was that the same areas of the brain were lighting up every time. Now, not to get lost in the, de in the details, but I feel like this is helping with understanding what the default mode network actually is. So the three brain regions were the temporal cortex, the medial prefrontal lobe, and then a connector within the hub of the brain called the posterior cingulate. So what these brain regions are doing is, and recall that Memory is stored in the hippocampus. It's on the side of your head right here. And the surrounding cortex actually pulls information, the autobiographical information from that area of your brain. So the frontal lobe is organizing that information. And when your mind wanders, you basically pull out this autobiographical information to construct your life story. And that's basically what was happening to these people that were laying down in the fMRI scanner and not undergoing active mental tasks. They were literally just sitting there letting their minds wander and ruminating about themselves. And that's really what you realize is that that's what all of us do when we're not actively engaged in some task. We think about our life, we think about our trials, our tribulations, what we've been through, all of our struggles. And that's what they were seeing in this fMRI scanner. They uncovered the network that lights up when people are doing that. So. Why that is important is when you look at pathological psychology like depression, anxiety, ADHD, people that actually have that pathology have a strengthened default mode network. So they're more liable to go into that thought pattern and strengthen those connections. That's the amazing part is that now with neurology, psychiatry, neuroscience, where this is going with these uh, connectomes and mapping out these brain circuits and analyzing how strong they are is literally finding molecular up to the gross anatomy level changes in the brain that happen from the psychology. So these people that are depressed, for example, ruminate a lot. They have this negative self-talk, they beat themselves up, and over time that strengthens the default mode network. What I want to bring to this video is talking about how you can get out of that. So Another thing that was amazing, they looked at people that meditated often, and they found that the connections in the default mode network were lessened, and other networks were enhanced. For instance, there's another one called the task positive network 
which has to do with being in the present moment or undergoing mental, active mental tasks. So with meditation, what you're doing is being present to the moment with mindfulness training, um, especially you concentrate on your breathing, you're focused on the in and out airflow, you're focused on your surroundings, and what that does is get you out of your head. And it's this amazing training mechanism in order to get you to enjoy the present moment and get out of your head and stop ruminating about your life. Um, I like to talk a lot about uh, Eckhart Tolle with uh, The Power of Now. If you've ever read his book, it's amazing. But he was basically beating himself up for years. Uh, Eckhart Tolle was very depressed. He was a very depressed man. And he had this negative self-talk that was just beating himself up all the time. And one of the things that Eckhart Tolle talks about is that you are not your mind. And what he realized over time was that he was not his mind. His mind was going to this place where it was just this negative self-talk and beating himself up. And I think with the default mode network, we now understand really what that was. It's this uh, automatic place that the brain goes when you're not uh, keeping check on it, just with this rumination and this, uh, this negative self-talk. And when Eckhart Tolle eventually said, no, I'm not doing this anymore. He had this spiritual revolution where he actually sat on a bench for two years just enjoying the present moment. He was in a park just had this endogenous happiness, this feeling of content that overcame him. And what you realize is when you're in the present moment, you just have this feeling of contentment and this, this general feeling of feeling good. Um, and you don't always have to be meditating to get into this state. There's another trend called the flow state, and people can get into that. Uh, if you enjoy art and you're doing art, or if you're skiing and you, um, you really enjoy skiing and you go skiing, basically what that's doing is putting you in the present moment, enjoying that activity and getting you outside of your head and forgetting about yourself. So either through meditation or the flow state, you want to generate a practice of getting into that mode so that you can get into the present moment and stop falling into that default mode network, rumination. And that's how you can really enjoy the present moment, generate this endogenous happiness, and really have a great time with your life. Now, I spoke earlier about how that actually makes you a more attractive individual to both other, to other people in general and the opposite sex. And I'm going to talk more about that in my next video. So stay tuned for part two of the Default Mode Network. This is Cody Raw with New Mavericks. I'll see you next time. Thanks.